Hey, what's up, guys? It's Bob Finney, Black White Guy here, the internet's busiest rapper. Oh, yeah. And I am Logic. Damn, boy, he thick, boy! And today we're doing a review of a review brought to you by reviewing Anthony Fontano's review of Chance the Rapper's album, The Big Day. Here we go. A review of a review from me to you. Whatever. All right, let's go. Hi, everyone. So the sad Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Chance the Rapper album, The Big Day. This is Okay, the pause it. Already a hate. <laughs> I'm just like, bro. Like, okay, I remember watching this review for the first time, being like, yo, my man is this savage dog. Like, I thought Supermarket was bad. I'm just like, that's one thing I be hating when I watch a review, even, because I love Fontana. I think he's got some hot takes. I think he's generally really honest. And I think the thing that I love about Anthony Fontana is literally every video for eons, okay, is, y'all know this is just my opinion, right? Now, I used to really give a fuck. Like, when Anthony would say some shit about me, it would really hurt my feelings. And I'm gonna be honest, I talked about this on my album Vinyl Days where, like, me and him, you know, became friendly. Like, I consider him, like, a homie, you know what I mean? It's not like we're not fucking best friends or anything, but, like, he's a really nice guy, super cool. And, you know, one night we just had a really great conversation. He was like, what I say should not matter at all. Like, he's like, bro, you're famous. He's like, I can't compare to what you've created. That He's like, you don't need my... What approval he was, basically, he was basically like fuck me bro who gives a shit and when he said this to me i was like whoa that's weird and he was like yeah and i get it now my man is an entertainer but he's also really great at what he does but sometimes he can be an asshole you see it's all got to do with Bleh. the stop talking nobody gives a shit if you hate stevie wonder idiot all right here we go album from chicago singer songwriter rapper and also okay, all right. Dude, you just look so unenthusiastic. That's all I'm saying. I'm just like, bro, we're like three seconds into this and I'm going, yeah. you know the worst Anthony Fontana review I've ever seen in my life? He doesn't even say anything. And then, here, you know what? Let's cut Transition. It. Yeah, this MGK album is not good. And by the way, it goes on like this for some time. Bro, this makes me feel mommy, like mommy, his mommy, supermarket mommy, review mommy, was like mommy. reviewing Good Kid Mad City compared to this shit. Mommy, no one deserves mommy, this. Mommy, no one deserves mommy, this. Mommy, and you mommy, know mommy. it. Okay. Here it is, the big day, the day that one of modern hip-hop's most beloved figures finally comes out with their debut full-length commercial album. Okay, because first of all, We'll get into it, but I just think it's really crazy how Chance the Rapper went from can do no wrong, world's best, da -da -da -da, all this other shit, and then he drops one album that is insanely successful. It's still really great, but the internet wanted to shit on it, just like they wanted to shit on Logic or Eminem or, you know, where they do that thing and it becomes like a joke to do it. And everybody did this to Chance. And for whatever reason, people want to act like he didn't give you a decade of incredible music and then drops one project that you particularly just didn't like and you want to end his fucking life? What? Continue, Anthony. Chance has sustained this incredibly high profile in the hip hop community just off of free albums and mixtapes. 10 day coloring book acid rap, and even now, Chance still seems to be doing it without a label, as The Big Day is self-released. Now, look, I've never been a huge Chance the Rapper fan, Pause. Chance the Rapper. Me reviewing, Anthony reviewing is like a great thing, and I think I'm gonna do this forever. forever. Like, that's always been a, a weird thing for me to see Anthony do, where he's he will review artists he doesn't like. So to me, it's like he's already biased, like he's not gonna like it. I still think it's cool that he reviews shit, even if it's not his favorite, because he can be very harsh, and I think we like it. That's the thing that's sick about us, right, as human beings. It's like, peace, love, and positivity, but like low-key, when you see a fight on TikTok or something, like you kind of can't look away, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I need to shut the fuck up because we're not even a minute into this thing. Let's go. The rapper Stan, but I did enjoy Coloring Book quite a bit. I thought Chance put out a lot of good singles in 2018. Generally, I think the guy is one of the more standout, exciting, and one-of-a-kind rappers in the current field. Generally, the man's verses are pretty poetic. His pen game is good. So going into this album... Pause. Some real love he actually just gave. Let's note that. Let's note he just kind of sucked Chance's dick a little. Let's go. 
I had no reason to expect anything other than just a quality album. But God, sweet Lord, baby Jesus, that is not that is not what we got. The Big Day is essentially a 22 track torture chamber with 77 minutes of runtime. 22 track torture chamber. God, hey, oh God. Yo, Chance, this man's a hater, play it. Features, some of which are kind of bad, corny skits, offensive vocal performances, and Offensive? Bo offensive? See, this is why I ran away from the internet for three years. I had to fucking Bruce Banner myself. Come back. Yeah, yo. Keep going. Honestly, Chance's worst bars to date. The worst ones. On nearly every track here. I can give this album some light praise on some of the features being pretty good. There were also some instrumentals here that I thought were pretty cool. But what Chance offers vocally and lyrically on these tracks is so off the mark, so obnoxious, so excruciating, that it completely just cancels out any positive aspects this album has going for it. Look at how much he cares. Like, let me just step back, you know what I mean? Like, he genuinely is giving his opinion. Even if it's a harsh one, in the language of today where, you know, I wasn't really feeling this album is that shit hot ass, garbage, blah, blah, blah. Like there are few people such as Anthony Fontano that really can give you an in-depth review. You know what I mean? And express it, explain why they don't like something. I bet you. let's see. It's like a kid that just won't stop jumping around. Stop, stop, found calm down, one please. Is likely the worst hip house song ever he recorded. His musical ever. backdrop, Chance lyrically and vocally still manages to fall Chance flat singing, on his, his face. rapping, his lyrics, explaining how god awful a vast majority of the writing on this album is. If I'm taking you with me, there's some rules you gotta follow. One, Bro, can you please pay for YouTube? Thank you. Is difficult. The opening verse on the first track alone is filled with landmines. If you blink, you might miss it. You gotta click it or tick it. Life is short as a midget, but mine's a little LeBron. I'm about to book. <laughs> first of all, let me just say, bro, like, if I was an Anthony Fontano and I was reading swimming pools for the first time and I was like, hoe up, drink, headshot. Drink, sit back, drink. That would make Kendrick sound like an idiot. He's not. So it's kind of about how you say it. What's really funny is I remember when I released a song called Keanu Reeves, it was a snippet and everybody like loved it. Like they went crazy. They, I don't play no games unless we talk in Fortnite. And a year later when the song released, Fortnite wasn't cool anymore because it became mainstream. First of all, when was Fortnite ever cool, okay? It's cool to me, because I play video games. Why don't you eat my ass? <laughs> anyway, I like Fortnite, so I thought it was a, a fun bar. Who gives a shit? I will say, mine a little LeBron is kind of, it's kind of a funny, it's funny. I just don't think it's that deep. When I listen to this album or what Chance was going for it, to me, it just feels like he's just doing this. Like having fun and just doing him and shit. Ooh, TikTok dance. Like, you know, like for real, like he's just having a good time. Then we have the track Hot Shower. More like hot garbage. This song. That is very cold blooded. Hot garbage? Oh my God, that's just crazy. I remember when I first saw this review and I was like, oh my God, like I was in pain. But just to be a rapper in hip hop, nobody knows what that's like. Chance knows, you know what I mean? Drake knows, different people know what it's like. Most rappers, like they don't talk about this shit, bro. They really don't talk about how they feel. I am at a place in my career where like, I've definitely made a lot of pop songs and I've made pop songs because I wanted to make money and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm fucking paid as fuck right now and I'm so happy because I had fun and basically did the TikTok, TikTok dance of the rap game and I fucking made $30 million in one year and it changed my life. Yeah, you're goddamn right. I was on that fucking on the radio and doing remixes and fucking with different people a hundred percent, bro. And it was amazing. It was an incredible time. But I had to go through doing it to understand. And not every song has to be deep by any means. You can still have substance in pop music. Like I have a song with YG where we talking about black ownership, what it means to invest your money properly. You know, it's just crazy. We'll get into that later. YG, snap. He's got this squeaky ass voice 
this terrible flow that seems just like a ripoff of Shaggy or Bone Thugs. It just makes me cringe so hard, I feel like my teeth are gonna grind down to nothing. The most aggravating moment- Yo, that is like one of the most savage things I've ever heard anybody say about another person publicly. He definitely knows that he has an effect on people, but he in his head, like when I told him, when I was like, bro, your reviews like really fucked me up. He was like, why? And I was like, because I, I watched all your videos before I was ever famous and I love you. And he was like, so? <laughs> you know what I mean? He was like, who gives a fuck what I think? And when Anthony told me this, when he was like, it just shut down everybody. Fuck him, fuck Button, fuck everybody. Fuck them all, that's just their opinion. If they don't like me, so what? Eat my ass. Bro, I'm not, I'm not in, 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 impenetrable. Like, you can penetrate me anytime. Anyway. Words get through. It just is what it is, but it's how much and for how long that we allow that to affect us. Damn, this dude is going in on chance right now. This is so crazy. There's also the sudden peanut butter jelly time references on the track Ballin' Flossin'. The totally sucky flat vocal production on the track but, Let's Go On The Rock. See what I mean? Totally sucky vocal production? Oh man, this dude is a savage, bro. I have empathy, cause like I've been in this spot. You know what I mean? I've been in this position. Most people don't understand that their words have weight. And I'm not sitting here crying about it. I'm just like, I just think people just don't understand. They would never know. Like, it's like, what if somebody did a review of Anthony Fontano's reviews? Oh God, I, I just feel like I'm nonstop ranting about how trash the lyrics are on this record, but th th that's literally like all, all I can do. They're really bad. The whole thing sounds like what you would get if you forced at gunpoint Tune Yards and Kanye to collaborate on a beat and it just came out really crummy, which is not the only point on this record where chances obviously copying Kanye, mind you. Chance, I think, should be making some kind of attempt at uh, summing this record up, this mess of a record up, this album is a pile of slop. I now see oh, why the album- this album is a pile of slop. Yikes. That's pretty disrespectful, if I'm being honest. I did not love a single song from this album, not one single track. There were moments where I caught a breath of like, oh, that's, ooh, uh, uh. Okay, I think this is enough. Um, here are my thoughts. I think that Anthony Fontano's review of Chance the Rapper's Big Day is a 10 out of 10. And I, I'm not, I'm actually not even joking. I don't agree with how Anthony Fontano said a lot of what he said, but he was entertaining, honest, brutally fucking to the point, took his time to go into why and what he didn't like about it. Do I think he was too brutal? Yes. Do I think he was mean? Yes. Do I think that's what makes him great? Yes. <laughs> Uh, and let's uh, let's also be real here. Even though Anthony Fontano completely destroyed Chance the Rapper in this review, uh, it's an incredible. <laughs> Am I wrong? I mean, it's so good. Let me just make this very clear. I respect Chance the Rapper. I love Chance the Rapper. I have listened to Chance the Rapper's albums. I think Anthony Fontano did a really good. I, I gotta honestly say, this is a ten out of ten review with how in depth and how passionate he was on shitting on Chance the Rapper. I just wish he wasn't shitting. But don't we all kind of like Benny Transition. You thought I was feeling you? You thought I was feeling you? Huh? Huh? Pretty sure I need you in this season like a flu shot. Pause My it. Wife That's a bar. Pretty sure I need you in this season like a flu shot. Okay. That's dope. What the fuck? That's dope. I need you in the season like a flu shot. Hate that.